Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. How are you doing? Doing well? Good. Uh, do I look tired? I feel tired. Shooting this video on January 1st, New Year's. Whoa, let's go 2022. Ugh. But uh, yeah, I'm tired. In today's video, we're going to be going over 10 different long lasting fragrances that are still office safe. Now why long lasting office safe fragrances? Well, I'm glad you asked. A lot of times uh, people will concentrate on these beast mode fragrances, hardcore fragrances that slap the noses of everybody you walk by, just give them a good old nose slapping with your powerful beast mode fragrance. Um, but most of the time, that type of scent is not really a great formal fragrance or business fragrance, office fragrance. So they'll be too aggressive, too too sweet, too sexy. Can you imagine that? You go to your office and there's like a little piece of paper on the, the door before you go in. No sexy fragrances. I'm sorry. Just we've, we've had a problem. Just too much sexiness in here. We, we got to tone down on that. So anyway, these fragrances, they're long lasting, so they're going to last all day, but they're still office safe. So let's check them out. We're kicking things off with Ralph Lauren Polo Deep Blue Parfum. This one opens up with green mango and a couple citruses. It gives you this fruity freshness off the top. You have C notes, so it has this aquatic freshness throughout. And then you have some green woodsy facets to the fragrance with cypress and fur resin. And of course, good old Ambroxan in there too. This one gets compared to Aqua de Jo Profumo and Aqua de Jo Profundo both. So uh, a lot of people out there find some similarities between this one and Aqua de Jo. I wouldn't say, you know, wearing them side by side that they're ultra close. This is very much still a polo blue fragrance. It's much closer to the original polo blue and polo blue flankers, but it's certainly in the same ballpark, same family, same style as Aqua de Jo Profundo and Profumo, which is just to say a fragrance that is aquatically fresh with some woodsy undertones, undercurrents, and then citrus off the top. With this being a blue type of fragrance, not a huge surprise to be office safe. I mean, blue fragrances are made to be worn anywhere, anytime, and you can with this one, though it does have more lasting power than you might expect. This next fragrance you can find very often in discounters for a great price, and it is a steal at the price you can pick it up for. It's Lacoste Loam Intense. Now this has one of my favorite underutilized notes which is rhubarb. Also has a ton of citrus in here from a bunch of different citrus notes. We've got ginger in here, which gives you an additional sparkly pop in the opening. And then you have some woods and vanilla as it dries down. Lacoste Loam is also really nice, frankly, for the price, but Lacoste Loam Intense is the better of the two. And this is the one I would go for, also better performance. And it is a really likable fragrance. It's a surprisingly big compliment plur if that's what you're after. There's also Lacoste Loam Timeless, which came out after that one. Uh, but really the one you wanna get is Loam Intense. That's the best of the bunch. Next up, we got Narciso Rodriguez for him, Blue Noir Eau de Toilette Extreme. It's a mouthful. This one's very fresh in the opening. It's got kind of a, a citric iciness to it, this briskness, got a bit of basil in there as well, and a good amount of musk. This one's interesting because it's like a blue fragrance with a, a touch of maturity to it. It doesn't bash you over the head with bubblegummy sweetness, and that's what makes it even better suited for the office. This one doesn't project like a monster, so it's not gonna fill up the room. It sits a little bit closer to your skin after an hour and a half or so, but it lasts a really long time, so it's even better suited for the office in that way. Almost knocked my fragrance over. So if you want a fragrance that's gonna give you mainly this, this musky, clean dry down with a nice, brisk, fresh opening that has a lot of uh, mass appeal to it, that's gonna last a long time, but not project out a lot. It's gonna sit more subtly on your skin. Check that out. And then we've got this monstrosity right here. Terre d'Hermes Eau Intense Vetiver. Really, you could go with any of the Terre d'Hermes fragrances, in my opinion. You could go with Eau Fresh if you want one that's more citric based and a little bit cleaner. You could go with the OG, I mean, anytime, because I'm all about that one. So, Eau Intense Vetiver, you're gonna find this hard to believe, but one of the main notes is vetiver. <laughs> Crazy. We also got a lot of citrus in here, bergamot, grapefruit, and lemon in the opening, bit of Sichuan pepper in this fragrance as well. Some people find this easier to wear than the original Terre d'Hermes, which is why I include it in this list. It doesn't go as heavy with that kind of flinty, earthy, dirty orange feeling that you're gonna get in the original. Here, the citrus has been 
cleaned up a little bit. You know, they threw it into the shower for a second, sprayed it off with a hose maybe. But Teraderm has uh, ill intense vetiver. It's a, it's a great scent. It reimagines that nowadays modern classic DNA of Teraderm has and, and makes it maybe ever so slightly more modern, more wearable for more people. And it's gonna have you smelling like a classy gentleman, just class coming out of your ears. And then we're gonna go to Dunhill Icon next. This one much more affordable. You can pick this up at discounters for about $30, give or take, depending on where you're shopping and what size you get, but $30. So this has neroli, it's got black pepper, bergamot, and would you believe it, Vetiver. And some people have compared this to Terre de Mez. Um, side by side, very different, much more different than uh, the polo that we talked about before is with Aqua de Joe. This is quite a bit different from Terre de Mez, but you would wear it in pretty much the same places, same situations, same times. This fragrance really helped launch Dunhill back into uh, the mainstream as far as the fragrance community is concerned. It kind of made everybody open their eyes again and say, hey, look at Dunhill over here. Look at this guy doing something. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. And then Dunhill completely foobarred all that and came out with a bunch of fragrances nobody cared about. So good job, Dunhill. And then we're gonna go with Gentleman Eau de Toilette Intense from Givenchy. Now this is a line of fragrances that I love. The iris in here is just to die for. It's really, really nice. It's one of the best lines and designer fragrances, period, uh, with the use of iris being the focal point. The way that the iris is used in here is a little bit fresher, sweeter than it is in Gentleman Eau de Parfum. You've also got a good amount of tonka in here melding together with that iris, which definitely helps with the sweetness. You've got a, a good amount of woodiness that lays a nice base for the fragrance as it dries down. Uh, a little pop of cardamom and basil off the top. This is a fantastic versatile release in the line. Some people compare it to Dior Homme O, which is unfortunately discontinued. Hmm, really like that one. Dior Homme O. <laughs> Why? This guy right here though is a great year round iris scent. Perfect in an office situation or really, that is a very versatile iris based fragrance though. Perfect year round, perfect in an office of course. Now one that is a, a little bit more adventurous than some of the other ones, Bentley for men, absolute. This smells a bit like Gucci pour homme, the original, which is discontinued and quite pricey. This has a lot of woodiness to it. It's got olibanum, which is gonna give it this smokiness. It has cedar, it has oud, pink pepper. And uh, it is, like I said, a little bit more challenging than some of these other fragrances, though not truly challenging. I would just say don't go crazy heavy uh, with the atomizer here. And this is gonna be more of a fall and winter time scent. A lot of these fragrances are really versatile to the point that you could use them year round. But this is the type of scent that I would say, uh, you know, middle of summer, it probably, Go ahead and leave it on the shelf. It does smell really good though. A lot better than you would expect. If you don't have any experience with Bentley fragrances, the quality is great for the price, especially when you consider it's a car brand fragrance uh, in a bottle that looks strange with like a little tiny head on big, huge shoulders. That's just what I see every time. You imagine just a huge bodybuilder taking copious amounts of steroids and his head is just so little. Yeah, Bentley from an absolute though. This stuff, it slaps. Now this next one, some people are not going to agree with me on is Ferrari Vetiver Essence. We've gone Bentley to Ferrari now. This one for me lasts quite a long time, but it's uh, similar to the Narciso Rodriguez where it doesn't project really heavily. So it's still there. You can still pick it up, especially if somebody's near you or you're moving around, but it's not one of those fragrances that two, three, four hours in is, is projecting out, you know, 10 feet or anything. It's gonna sit pretty close to your skin. So we have once again, a very vetiver centric fragrance, very affordable from uh, discounters online. This is a fragrance I think typically you can find for under $30. The vetiver is of the more fresh type here, fresh, clean, not as dank, not as dirty, not as earthy. You have a lot of fresh spiciness in the opening, a little bit of bergamot in there as well. And it smells great for the price. It's a, it's a real find. Then we're gonna go with Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. <laughs> Iris once again is in here, which you would expect, I guess. Prada makes use of Iris all the time. Not really overly powdery here, not overly soapy either though. And also not really uh, creamy makeup-y 
iris either. It is a, a pretty clean iris, bit of sweetness in there as well. The iris is paired up with lavender. They kind of help accentuate uh, each other. <laughs> they accentuate each other. It's also got a bit of musk in here, citrus, of course, in the opening, which you would expect. It does borrow maybe from a bunch of other different blue fragrances out there. So if you're familiar with a lot of the, the top sellers on the market, you might smell Luna Rosa Ocean and say, yeah, it reminds me a little bit of this, that, or the other thing. Uh, but it still is unique enough that it doesn't actually smell directly similar to anything. One of those Frankenstein's monsters that works out really well. And last but not least, a fragrance you probably wouldn't think of as an office scent, Eros Flame from Versace. Now the original Eros, Eros Eau de Toilette, that's a fragrance that I've worn to the office. Couldn't even tell you how many times. It works really well. Just dial it down a notch as far as the spraying goes. Don't overspray and it works great. Now I know I said at the beginning of the video, a lot of the you know beast mode long lasting fragrances are too sweet. You know, they hit you over the head too aggressively and that makes them not as well suited for the office. Eros, with the type of DNA it has, being a massive people pleaser, it's the best selling fragrance for Versace for a reason. Uh, it isn't too far down that road of being aggressive that it can't work in the office. So as I said, um, Eros worn it a whole bunch in the office and it works very well, but Eros Flame is just a little bit better. So Eros Flame has a good amount of vanilla and tonka. It's gonna be there as soon as you spray this on, it's gonna be there the whole time. <laughs> but it has that Kinoto in the opening, uh, the pepper, the mandarin orange that help offset that a little bit. They give it that that touch of freshness that I think really helps this one excel even more in office type situations. Again, assuming you don't spray heavily because this is not one of those fragrances that lasts a long time, but maybe doesn't project really far. This one lasts a long time and it projects. So there we go. 10 office safe, long lasting fragrances. I hope everybody has an awesome 2022. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go lay down. So thank you for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.